welcome back to Domina, episode number two, with Boyer Tactics. So, um, we have a choice right now. Several houses have fallen to a handful of uh, desperate and small slave uprisings throughout the city. The magistrate is desperate for men to protect his household and the legate is desperate, obviously, for men to guard the entrance to the city. So... I'm going to lend the guards to the magistrate. Very well. Oh, and the, the legate has left the building. Well, he got upset. Let's buy the wine and all that cool stuff. So as you, uh, as you saw, a uh, random increase in agility for Alpheus because of Sar uh, Sacred Oss or whatever. Now, what else can we do? We do have some coin. We can reward our gladiators so that they have increased stats. And we just have to wait for the next uh, match. And yet again, as you uh, see, this is the third match and the enemy is still wearing uh, basic armor. Even though this is pro gamer or whatever. So let's see. L like our opponent does have a lot of health. But apparently uh, our gladiator is a lot better. Yes. And the first thing obviously you want to heal him. I'm not risking, uh, like you could leave him to train, but that's a uh, unnecessary risk. Because sometimes like just 10 health may be the difference between life and death. Great. Our um, Faber is repairing the gladiator's armor. And we got improved furnace, now we want to go for improved anvil. That way our... Um, and also a very interesting thing, our Faber cannot repair the armor of our gladiator while he is researching, but he can improve the armor, like um, upgrade. So no repairs, just upgrading. Good. Um, now we got the bat. What can we... Uh, go for wall reinforcement. Let's get go for the private gladiator quarters. The sacred doors. We have all the research for that guy. That's good. And once we get a uh, really good gladiators, I think I'm going to fire him because there is really no point. And again, I think we can deal with this uh, problem. Hopefully, let's see. Like in general, my strategy is to get a really, really good uh, gladiator out there. And I'm hoping for some Jupiter blessings, like cursed weapons or some curse or whatever. I forgot how it is called. Like I am hoping I'm getting those things, because that would be awesome. Well, we got an interesting... Um, Card. The defense train speed. Basically, our gladiator goes 500% faster in defense. Now, defense is not exactly very awesome. So, I'm going to go for weapon, weapon uh, training. Because I think that's a lot better, actually. And as you can see, our gladiator already has 100% meditate, which is like the uh, highest uh, skill he can have. And he also has uh, like agility 13, a weapon 14, defense, like he didn't train for those things, yet how did he increase those skills? Basically in each fi uh, fight, he increases all his uh, stats, which is awesome. That's why technically you want to uh, 
make him fight as uh, many fights as he can, because he'll uh, become stronger. Yet you are obviously running the risk that he'll die, so there is a balance that needs to be taken into account. Okay, four days, and we got uh, weight training, and I'm uh, currently aiming for v wolf courage. Which basically makes our gladiators remain at the Ludus for a longer time. Because in general, after uh, we got a really good gladiator, he'll uh, ask if we, if we can release him. And usually we want to release him. But with Wolf Courage, he'll uh, stay a bit longer. Now, the next fight is... Uh, yeah, yet again... I think this will be an easy fight. We are doing the double the damage that our enemy is doing. And we have a lot better equipment. Yeah, look at that. Two damage. Poor enemy. But don't be mistaken. This will soon change. And yet again, if you are asking yourself why... Am I receiving so, like, so, like, not very strong opponents, even though, as you can see here, I'm on Pro Gamer. The AI, from what I've understood, um, checks for the highest equipment, like, which of your dudes has the highest equipment, and then he kind of tailors towards that. And so, in the first episode, I put my gladiator to have like the weakest equipment. So now the AI is constantly just giving me dudes with really low tier equipment. Which is very awesome for me obviously. And also as you can see I'm just upgrading one of my gladiators, not of all of them. Like uh, the rest have uh, minimum equipment and let's call those guys that I'm not really interested in the sla uh, uh, slaves. So basically those guys I'm not even bothering to give any equipment to them. I'm just going to sacrifice them if I need to. So how is yeah, let's not forget to buy wine. Also, there is no point in bribing those dude like the magistrate and the legate at this point. Like we can bribe him right now, but okay, suggest so patronage. There we go. But in general, on pro gamer, they will constantly uh, like their favor will go down. And you will have to pay quite a heavy price in wine to keep them happy. And I'm like, you want to do it at uh, certain times, but not always. Okay, there we go. One battle. Yeah, yet again, see how weak this guy is. I really am hoping for some Jupiter's Blessing proper ones. Yeah, there we go. So this guy will be a really strong gladiator. And we want to sell that dude I'm not interested in. We can also check the slaves. Ooh, look at that. We have a 348 dude and almost 400 dude. And he has quite, actually this guy might be a very awesome uh, Trax. So another tip, you know, from time to time you want to spend that money you get from matches in buying gladiators and letting them train. So in case your main gladiator dies, you'll have a backup. And as you can see, this guy already has some agility training and some strength training. And uh, why I decided uh, like for this guy, I'm very interested in the turtle ability for Trax. And he also has 147 uh, kilos. So this guy is kind of heavy. And you want to have that in a Trax. Okay, there we go. And we have some random stat boosts from the Cycredos. And stuff is looking up. 
gonna battle in the next two days. We also need to buy our wine. Our cool stuff. We we could uh, actually let's try some um, exhibition matches. Let's look at what. We, oh, this is already harder. But we can um, give uh, one of our slaves to the battlefield. He'll die. We'll get a lot more money, and we are also going to increase our um, standing with the um, legate. So that's awesome. And the more the slave fights, the better it will be for us, because the crowd will be paying us a lot more money. Okay, there we go. We got a lot more uh, temperament thingy plus whatever free or. So, we are going to return to the Ludus, hopefully. Yes, as you can see, he's a lot happier now. And we do have two more uh, sacrificial lambs, so let's uh, arrange an exhibition match with the Magistrate. Yeah, definitely. We will want to send our slaves towards uh, achieving this goal of increasing our happiness with the Magistrate. Alright, oh yeah, they'll die. It would be cool if one of the slants would kill one of the enemy's gladiators, but no luck with that. And there we go, we got 65 coins. And uh, if we sold those two slaves, we would have gotten 4 coins. Which is a lot more money. Okay, and our... Magistrate, and also this has uh, another cool effect. So if you are sending to those exhibition matches, you're sending your slaves, right? Your weakest unit. It will decrease the difficulty. So the next um, fight will be a lot easier. Okay, we can also increase. Okay, so we have the Serpent King's shield. Uh, yeah, we do have quite a lot of equipment on this guy. We also might want to make him happy. Perfect. Actually, we want to make all our gladiators happy by giving them coins. Now, oh, look at that. Perfect. Let's go to the pit of doom. Now, it kind of looks really easy and sometimes it doesn't work out but you always need to keep in mind you need to take the right decisions if for example your main gladiator cannot take the fight don't waste him okay just either reject in the worst case scenario or just send one of your slave no 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 i almost clicked on something i didn't want so your guard ha uh, have your guards have found a and cage the lion. You imagine using the beast as a gladiator. Oh, I need this. I really need this. Set the bit for clean. No, train the lion. And, uh, train the lion, yes. Oh, yeah, we got a lion. <laughs> and you get a, an achievement for this if you, your lion kills a lot of people. So let's look at the Jupiter's blessing we got. So we got divine vision. It's okay, but nah. Defense train speed, max stamina. Okay, we could use that. We might use the roll speed boost, but not for our tricks. That's uh, definite. And defense train speed. Let's actually use that on one of our dudes, just in case. So this uh, this guy already has 100 meditate, so we are going to put him on defensive thingy training. And this guy on weapon. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Then pit fight. Faber. And and the ra uh, the rest of the upgrades are basically reduced costs like. Uh, the helmet blueprints, armor blueprints, shield blueprints, and weapon blueprints are basically um, allowing us to cheaply upgrade our 
like if we want to upgrade our armor or whatever it will 